Hey there, welcome to our creative circle. And I wanted to first show you what supplies we're gonna be using. Um, so uh, we are gonna be using some red buttons, of course. And um, we are going to be using a sheet of paper to put on our canvas. So this is the canvas that I'm using. It's a bigger canvas than the one I've done before, but that's okay. This is a, oh, eight by 10, I believe. So, and it's got a little something on there, but that's okay, because I'm gonna cover it anyway. But we're gonna use a canvas, so use a canvas, or you can even use a piece of cardboard if you don't have a canvas, um, a piece of wood, whatever you wanna use, okay? And um, I wanted to show you all this book, because I know a lot of people have asked me about this. So this is, um, the scrapbook that I bought um, at Hobby Lobby uh, a few weeks ago, and it was 40% off of $12.99, which I thought was a great, great price. And it's got all these beautiful, I'll show you some of these, all these beautiful pages in here. So, and I could not find any music um, tissue paper or any music uh, scrapbook paper. And um, I ordered some, but it's not here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the sheets from in here. I thought this sheet was so pretty. So I'm gonna use this sheet here, but you can use whatever you want. If you wanna use the music print, if you wanna use um, a page from a book, whatever you wanna use, okay? It doesn't have to be identical to the picture that I posted. I Every time I make those, I always make those different. So it's just the fun of creating that. So anyway, so you need some type of paper for your canvas and uh, you need a brush. And I'm going to use Elmer's glue. I seem to always gravitate to the clear Elmer, Elmer's glue. Um, I have Mod Podge, but for some reason, this always works really well for me. So I always use this, but you can use whatever you want. Um, I've got some ribbons here to play with. Uh, I've got a little string of little pearls here to, to play with also. Uh, a little bit of lace. Um, this is the lace that I love to use. Let's see if I can find it, but it's not big enough. And this lace here I actually got at Hobby Lobby. And I've used this so much. Look how beautiful that is. But it's not big enough for my canvas, so um, I'm going to save that to use for something else. Um, but like I said, you can make it different. Use whatever you want. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And then um, I'm going to use a little bit of my Dixie Belle brown wax to kind of Antique it a little bit, grungy up a little bit. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's totally up to you. And then I do have a little key here that I'm gonna attach on there. So those are the things that I'm gonna be playing with on my sign here. So like I said, that is the, and of course the hot glue gun, um, scissors, and a little sanding block or sanding paper, whatever you, whatever you have. Alrighty, so I'm going to end this video and we're going to come back and we're going to start our first step.